Hey, Chris, how are you? Hey, Chef Duran, thanks for uh, taking the time. You can hear me okay, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Excellent. You were sounding good, too. Let me hit my button here, and we are rolling in three, two, one. Chef George Duran is with us uh, once again. We have talked with Chef Duran on uh, many occasions. Uh, he is the author of Take This Dish and Twist It, known for his Food Network show, Ham on the Street, and most recently host of TLC's Ultimate Cake Off. Now, here's the thing. We have these holidays coming up that seem to revolve all around food, so we could think of nobody, no better person to uh, ask to maybe kind of put a unique twist on the holiday than Chef Durant himself. Thanks for uh, taking the time this morning. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me on, Chris. Thank you. So uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, entertaining tips. It's a big entertaining season. Uh, so give us some tips uh, that will make it easy for the host to enjoy themselves as well. Yeah, Chris, you can stop panicking. I've got the solution for everything. Here is how you do it. It's very simple. You First of all, you want to spend more time with your guests, less time in the kitchen. And that means you get your meal delivered right to your door. In fact, I'm working with Omaha Steaks, and they're offering the premier turkey and ham holiday for eight, where you pretty much get a whole base of turkey, a spiral sliced ham. You get to choose sides like sage dressing or green bean casseroles, or even how about some desserts like the award-winning pumpkin pie. You pretty much choose a variety of items for both Thanksgiving and Christmas, and you're set for parties throughout the entire season. And as America's original butcher, by the way, Omaha Steaks, they're a fifth-generation family-owned company that's been providing the finest and premium all-American grain-fed beef and gourmet foods for over 100 years. You can order it at omahasteaks.com, call, or visit one of their 60-plus retail stores across the country. That is awesome. So there you've got the, uh, the main course and all of the uh, essentials. What about some uh, side dishes? You have some easy ideas that will uh, satisfy any size gathering. Yeah, you know, one of the things I like to do is focus on appetizers a little bit. So you can certainly order in the main meal and the side dishes from Omaha. But what about some appetizers while guests are waiting for the big meal? Well, I have three recipes that I actually made with uh, Jarlsberg cheese. They're like an ooey-gooey cheese known for its nutty, mild, mellow, and sweet flavor. It's uh, made with the original Norwegian recipe for over 60 years. So I found that fruit and cheese blend so nicely together that I've developed these recipes. One of them is called an apple bacon turnover. It's a mix of Granny Smith apples, bacon, applesauce, and Jarlsberg cheese tucked into a puff pastry and baked. And then you can also make a pear walnut crostini made with a piece of toasted French baguette, slices of pear, cheese, and walnuts with a touch of rosemary and honey, or create a simple winter cheese board using fresh figs or dried figs, fresh pomegranate, dark chocolate, candied pecans, which pairs beautifully with this cheese and your favorite rind. And Jarlsberg.com, by the way, has a lot of those recipes for you to entertain. So, you know, you want to get the, uh, the guests rolling with the appetizers, and then, uh, and then you have them sit down for the big meal. Yeah, that, those sound uh, so, they sound so elaborate and so fancy and all of that, but uh, as you were describing them, really easy to pull off. I literally listed no more than four ingredients per recipe. And if you yeah. can make a, 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 or if you can fry an egg, you can make these recipes instantly. <laughs> Super easy to make. A lot of them you can make in advance. You know, I have this other recipe. It's a cranberry relish. Again, also four ingredients. Whole cranberries, orange juice, orange zest, a little bit of raw honey. It cooks in 15 to 20 minutes. It has deep flavors. Not a lot of sugar inside of it. But what you can do is make it a week in advance and then serve it on the big day. And this way, this way you're saving a lot of time as well and making yeah. a nice cranberry relish. That is uh, another great uh, piece of advice is uh, doing as much as you can uh, in advance. It, it's just so crazy. So many people spend uh, you know, hours upon hours in the kitchen for the uh, big day and, and really you kind of shake your head. It doesn't have to be that complicated. You've got more information on uh, all of this and some more great uh, recipes and ideas online, right? Absolutely. Just go to dailylounge.com. It's all there, the recipes and information, dailylounge.com. All right. We've got it linked up at our webpage. Uh, folks can check that out on uh, online there. Uh, Chef Duran for dailylounge.com with us uh, this morning. Chef, thanks very much for uh, taking the time. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me on WFIN, Chris. Thank you. All right. I think we've got it. Thank you, thanks, sir. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yep. Voilà.